Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope your day is going well. Thank you so much for joining me for Try It Out Tuesday. Today we are going to create a card using a stamp set from Fun Stamper's Journey. I picked it up over at the Spellbinder shop and it's called Stick Around. It's a six piece stamp set um, and I love the encouraging sentiments in here. Not to mention I love little froggies. I don't know, something about their little big eyes and, um, and their little suction hands. Oftentimes uh, my kitchen window we have little froggies on there and so um i just think they're so cute <laughs> i don't like holding them but looking at them they're just adorable <laughs> but fun stepper's journey um stamp sets do have their own storage sheets you just peel them from the acetate and you can stick them down on the storage sheet so that's really nice also okay we're just going to stamp the largest frog in the stamp set I'm going to place him in my Misty with my Nina 80 pound cardstock and then I'm going to ink up this little guy with my um, black licorice ink pad. Um, Memento works great, so does the Fun Stamper's Journey um, black licorice. I chose this one because it's a little more juicier than my Memento. It seems it's drying out a little bit and this works just as well. Great for Copic coloring. That's what we're going to do to color in our little guy here. Um, I'm going to zoom in. I will play a little bit of music while I color and then when I'm done coloring, I will get you back. Okay, coloring is all done. Now, I did take a light, I believe it was BG11 marker, and I added um, a lighter color over my YG17, only because I wanted this little guy to be a little bit more brighter. So I kind of took my two lightest colors, my YG11 and then my, also my um, BG11, and lightened him up quite a bit. Um, and then I added dotted detail. A little bit more to his tummy and then also to his legs. Um, I wanted to get rid of the more grassy green and go for more of a tealy color so that that's what I did there. Okay now we're gonna create a background and we're gonna do ink blending here and I sped it up a little bit. <laughs> it's my superhuman powers here. I'm using three different shades of oxide ink. I have um, my first shade was squeeze lemonade. I'm going in with my twisted citron. We're gonna bring the twisted citron down a little bit more and then we're going to bring in peacock feathers. I think these are some real fun, bright colors. I'm just using a post-it note so I don't get ink on my hands or take ink away from my panel here. The, I'm, the cardstock that I'm using is actually Strathmore Bristol Smooth. It ink blends beautifully, guys. I buy the 9 by 11 pads um, and it ink blends beautifully. Okay, that's my background panel. I'm going to put the lightest on the very top and then the darkest on the bottom. We're going to stamp our sentiment on the very bottom. Okay, we're going to add a little bit of splatter with some water droplets using my spray bottle here. I'm just going to tap off the excess with my towel. Just to add a little extra texture to my background. And then I want to make sure it's really dry because this is where we're going to stamp our sentiment. For today's card, I chose the, the sentiment that says I'm sticking around. Um, so I'm treating my paper with heavily <laughs> with my anti-static powder bag there. I'm going to ink up my sentiment and then we're going to stamp that in the bluer area of our panel. Um, I thought we better bring in, I'm going to die cut out a circle from this panel. So I thought we'd bring in and use the circle die as a guide on where to stamp. 
this way I know um, it's centered and I know um, how low I can go. I want to get it more in the blue area, so I'm kind of using my circle die as a guide. Okay, we're stamping it with VersaFine or VersaMark ink. It's a watermark ink here. And then I'm going to add some white embossing powder. We'll just spoon it over the top and then we'll just tap off the excess. And then we'll heat this up, melting that white embossing powder. And so it stands out against that background. I wasn't sure if it was going to stand out in the lighter area, but it turned out beautiful. I love how bold the white is against these, these colors here. Okay, once this is melted, we're going to use that circle die. We'll just line it up, making sure our sentiment's cir uh, centered. I'll just tape it down and then run that through the die cut machine. Lovely. Okay, this is ready to go. And you can see, um, if I were to use more of a grassy green, it my froggy to me wasn't cohesive enough. This piece, you know, I'm going to trim off the circle area of it, and I can use that, throw that in my scrap bin. This is nice little panel um, to create a quick and easy card. Um, don't throw your scraps away, guys. Keep them for another project, <laughs> or for your kids, too. Okay, you can see here, my little guy coordinates pretty well with my background, and that's what I was going for. Okay, we're gonna add something else to our background. I'm gonna bring in a background die. This here is from Fun Stamper's Journey, and it's called the Leaf Pattern Die Set. It is so pretty, love this. It creates a A2 size card front panel if you use the outline die here. Um, my panels are already four and a quarter by five and a half inch, so I don't have to use that outline. But I'm gonna die cut out my background, and you can see how gorgeous this is. It's so pretty. Um, I think it's gonna look really nice against a gray background. So for my card base, I'm gonna be using a tin pail um, card stock. It's a very pretty pale gray. Um, just created my card base here, and then we're gonna flip over our background panel here, and I used glue um, around the edges. A few of the leaves I, I left um, unglued um, because I wanted to be able to tuck some of those leaves um, over my panel. I want a straight edge on the right side, so I'm just putting it in my paper trimmer. And we're gonna take off about a quarter inch here. And then, normally I'd pop this sentiment panel up, but I thought it'd be fun to tuck some of the leaves over the top. Just adding a little bit of extra interest here. I think that's gonna look gorgeous. So we're gonna flip over our panel. I'm gonna use my tape runner and adhere that to my card base. I think the gray with the greens is just so pretty. We'll tack that down, and then the leaves that are overhanging that I didn't glue down, we're gonna add little small foam squares to, right behind those leaves. So there's gonna be a little added dimension to those leaves, and I, I think it turned out really neat. I love the effect that this gave. All those leaves that I didn't glue down, we're gonna add foam squares behind. This one we're gonna have to trim in half. It's a little too big for those smaller leaves. We'll just do our little tucking. And once we have a dimension added, we're gonna go ahead and add our little frog, just using a larger foam square. I'm gonna place him a little bit more towards the right. And I love his little wonky face. <laughs> okay, now I have a brand new set of googly eyes. I did break down. I bought it, this set and it was very inexpensive. I was a little bit embarrassed um, using my googly eyes that were um, yellowing. <laughs> I promise you I probably had them for probably about 17 years. That's how old they were. But this set guys, if you want some googly eyes, it's a huge set. I got it on Amazon and it was um, five or six dollars and they're adhesive backed. Every one of these um, you just remove the release paper and they're adhesive backed. Tons of different sizes and they come with a little case too. So it's a great value. I'll link it down below in case you guys want some brand new googly eyes. In case your guys' googly eyes are yellow too, <laughs> which I probably doubt. Okay, I'm just going to remove the release paper. I found some eyes that I think are going to work um, for this little guy. We're just going to add a little whimsical feel to him with the googly eyes here. I think when you add wobbles or googly eyes, um, it just makes the card a little bit more happy. 
Um, especially when it's an encouraging card too. Okay, he's ready to go. I am gonna bring in a little bling. Um, I'm gonna be bringing in some iridescent bubbles. Um, I was gonna bring in some sequins here, but I thought we'll bring in a little bit of iridescent hue. It kind of picks up some of that green in the background, but keeps it subtle at the same time. These are from Studio Katia. But I'm gonna add a few of those. And then that finishes off my card for today, guys. Super fun. Love the sentiment in here. I think it's playful. But I did leave the cleanup in. It's after the close-up picture here. But I want to thank you so much for joining me. Um, and I love all your comments, especially nowadays. that They're so encouraging. Thank you for them. Have a great day, and we will see you again real soon. Bye-bye.